Damn, I saw seven three pointers. I was breaking it. <laughs> shot five. That's the most I ever shot in the game. <laughs> Kylie uh, definitely had a physical game inside. Uh, did that help build up your confidence going into the tournament? And in other words, being able to handle that kind of presence. Yeah, we knew coming in that they were a great team and they were going to be physical. Um, we just watched film, and we had to finish the season out strong. So that's what we did. A question for both of you: How did it feel just to be walk off that court? No, you are the winningest team in Louisville women's history here. I mean, it's great. Oh, my God, it's, it's great. It's a surreal feeling. Um, but it's just it's just a true testament to all the players that we had come in before us, like my freshman year, my sophomore year, Maisha, Asia, Sam, AC. And so we just had great teammates, and we was able to carry the torch this year. Yeah. Um, with both of you guys being seniors, just how big is it or how, how does it feel just having this kind of performance with Kylie having a double-double and you, uh, Jasmine, scoring 18 points? It feels great. I mean, it's not our last home game, but it's a it's a big night or afternoon for us. So um, it was nice celebrating before and then coming out and getting business done. So it was it was a good feeling. Jess, it seems like when you guys play at your best, um, you guys are focused on the defensive end first. Um, just kind of how important will that be for you guys going into the postseason? Because it seems like, obviously, you guys are very athletic and get out on the open floor. Um, but just how important is a defensive end for you guys going forward? Well, everybody knows defense wins championships, so we have to play defense. Um, and we we have been so dialed in the last few weeks defensively. Um, even though the la the two games that we lost, the two games shirts that we lost, we were we were playing great defense. We just couldn't make shots. So we've been dialed in uh, so well on defense, and I think it just comes it just comes with everybody coming to practice focus, and we've been doing a lot with uh, scouting report defense and watching a lot of film too as well. Yeah, Kylie, you were looked fairly emotional before you checked back in for the last time. Yeah. Uh, you know you've got more games here. Mm -hmm. Why is today so? emotional for you I think it was just like seeing my mom and my dad um, they're not they haven't been able to make it out to that many games and my mom really hasn't ever been out here to see a game so her being here was really nice um, on top of that I mean it's nice to see your family and have people celebrate you and our amazing fans so I mean it was a good day I just it was emotional <laughs> Um, well, since I've, well, the last three years we had double buys, and so we just, we need to take time now to, uh, everybody needs to get treatment and get our body right, and because we know we have a, a tough tournament, the ACC tournament has always been great, and we have to come focus and know if we want to win that championship, we have to win three games in a row, so everybody has to be, be dialed in mentally, physically, and we just need to take care of our bodies these next couple of days. You guys have jumped down in the, in the first quarter there, what helped you offensively and defensively in the first quarter to take control of that game? I would say sticking to scout. We knew that um, Shepard and Mabry were two of the most, well, probably the best three-point shooters that we're going to play against, um, well, have played against so far. And um, we knew that we had to jump on them early. They also have a great freshman post. And their other players, they they're, they play as a team and they play good. So we knew that defense was going to be the key to the game. Jasmine, you probably can be assured that uh, no matter what happens at the ACC tournament, you're going to be a very high seed in the NCAA. What is the motivation for this coming week, and uh, is it sort of an anticlimax with you know your status kind of assured? Uh, we know that we still we have a target on our back uh, every single night we come out and play, and we know that uh, we're playing for something much bigger. Like we're playing for a chance to possibly be a one seed, possibly play in Fort Wayne, Indiana, is right across right across the bridge here, so our fans can come see us play. So we know that we're playing for something much bigger, and we can't take any game lightly right here. Yep. Coach Walls has talked a lot about wanting to push the pace offensively. You guys' rotation isn't large. I mean, so what, just what, I guess, how, how much do you guys work on that conditioning and how much is, do you feel like that pays off? When you <laughs> Shout guys... out to Katie. <laughs> hey, shout out to our strength staff. <laughs> I, obviously, that's a pretty big part of guys' your, your success offensively. 
No, I would just say, like, really shout out to our strength and conditioning coach. I mean, summer we go hard and we don't we don't really stop. Um, so I think that we're all in amazing shape and we just keep it running. That's the pace that we have always played at. So that's the only the only place pace we know. After a 40 minute basketball game has been played on it, what does the Cardinal Bird actually taste like? <laughs> Dirt. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't lick it, okay? All, all we did was kiss it, so we don't know what it tastes like. Jazz, the Virginia Tech radio uh, commentator said that if you make a layup over Kylie Shuck, you should get more than two points. <laughs> how, just how big, if you could talk a little bit about how big Kylie's uh, presence is uh, on the and what that does for, for the team. Um, it's, a, it's a nice presence to have on our team. Um, like I said last week, Kali is one of the best shot blockers in the country, and she should be up for de- she is up for defensive player of the year nationally and in the ACC, and I think she should win them both. Um, Kali has been in the gym watching film, so she knows what players like to do and, and certain things like that, so she knows when to time her blocks. And Kali's just going to swat that thing out of the air if she sees it. So Kali's been great, man, and just so proud of her and her growth throughout all four years, and she's just going to continue to do what she's been doing. Thank you. Uh, very important. I mean, like Josh says, uh, defense wins championships. And, I mean, we have scores. We have Jazz, Dana. I mean, I, everybody can score on our team. But um, defense is really big. If you can't stop, it's just going to go back and forth. So I really focus on that. Just since the two losses, how much how much improvement has gone on the last several weeks, even with all the injuries? It looks like quite a bit. Um, I think we've just been staying focused and knowing that uh, D and uh, Dana and E didn't, didn't play a couple games, but we still was t- uh, dialed in in practice, and they were still preparing like they was going to uh, play the, the games that they missed. So we was just focused, and then we knew that the next person had to step up, but we've been playing well collectively all together anyways, so we knew what the next person would step up and bring to the table anyways. Kylie, for you, on your – your perspective, obviously, you're down in the paint defensively, but when you have so many versatile wings, how much does that help you on the defensive end, just knowing that I mean, they can switch ball, uh, ball screens as much as they want? A lot. I mean, it, it comforts me that they can take care of the guards because, like I said, Virginia Tech did have great guards. So I wasn't having to come out on a speedy athletic guard that could drive past me or shoot the three. So um, I just stay down and help them if they need help and then stay on my post player. Kylie, you were averaging 9.9 points coming in. You, you, you're back to over double figures now. Yeah. Is that meaningful to you, or are you even conscious of it? Uh, yeah. Um, I don't know what game it was. One of the games about two weeks ago, three weeks ago, somebody mentioned um, Louisville even needing, needing like an extra score because Jazz and Dana were having to do it all. <laughs> but um, so I kind of tried to focus. I mean, I am a senior and I do want to be a leader. So if that's what we needed, that's what I tried to focus on. <laughs> Jazz was working on the jump shot, a point of emphasis going into this season, and when did you become such a comfortable shooter from outside? Uh, it's been a point of emphasis since my freshman year. I just just staying in the gym every single day, and then uh, during this summer, extra work with uh, one of our red shirts, Kiana Smith, every single day we was in the gym playing one-on-one and just getting shots up, and still in, in the season, every single night in the gym just getting shots up and just staying focused and being confident in your shot. I'm confident in my shot. Um, it's just a matter of me shooting it. <laughs> I shot five of them tonight. That's probably the most I've shot in the game. So. This- yeah, we did. Uh, she came in the, in at uh, at halftime. Coach Sam Williams, if y'all saw her in the stand, she came in at halftime too as well. And we saw Asia at the Georgia Tech game in Atlanta too. So she saw she she's been watching us all year. But this the second time we've seen her in person and coming to her game. Asia still su- support us uh, no matter what, and she's she's still still Asia Dirt. She's still the same old person. <laughs> yep. This team has had so many talented players in, in, in great seasons, but for for you all to set the uh, career win mark with the 124 wins now, or 125, 124, you know, what does that mean for, for both of you uh, to have that record? 
I mean, it feels good, but like Jazz mentioned before, we had great players who got us to this point. I mean, we didn't come in freshman starters. Or, so um, we had good players behind <coughs> us, and um, it feels great, though. I mean, knowing that you've won that many games and the record and our four years has been accomplished. Well, not yet, but you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> uh, for, for both of you, it, it's always cool on senior day. You know, the seniors, you go through the emotional part, and then five seniors start, and then you all score in, like, the first couple minutes, and for Jess to get the first basket. Can you both kind of comment on what, what that was like? It was pretty good reaction. So, uh, the beginning, of course, everybody was emotional. Uh, well, Kylie didn't break the ice first, <laughs> so Yaya did. And But just to see Jess, Jess, when I tell you, Jess is probably the most hardworking person on our team, and she does every little thing. Like when Maisha was here, she would always rebound for Maisha after practice. Like that's the little things from a teammate that you need. And Jess, she doesn't care about scoring. She doesn't care about uh, starting or any of that. She just cares about making her teammates better every single day. She's on our scout team in practice, and she, she does what she needs to do to make us better. And Jess, she's a a great person that's the kind of person she is and just for her to score the first two points on scene night it couldn't be rain any better yeah she deserves everything she gets Good. thank you all. thanks y'all thank you